Hey guys, today I thought it'd be fun to do a Danger 5 run on a character that I've never used before here in Brotato. So there's obviously a bunch of other characters I haven't done yet, but I thought Gladiator might be an interesting choice here. So Gladiator gets 20% attack speed for every different weapon you have. So we're going to want to equip six different weapons uh, in the long run here. Plus five melee damage. So you start with a bit of extra melee damage. You cannot equip range weapons. So only melee weapons. Minus 40% attack speed and minus 30 luck. So we are going to have at least one weapon equipped here, right? So this should be minus 20 instead of minus 40. And we might want to repair this luck early if we can. If not, you know, so be it. But now I'm thinking of building a little defensive on this one. So maybe the primitive with the uh, the extra um, HP that it gives you might be a good idea. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into danger five here and see how we go. going to start with the spear just because it's a really strong weapon. And it's, uh, it's of that primitive um weapon class so uh, we do want to try and <laughs> get them lined up a little bit here oh he just totally wildly went to the side there that's cool <laughs> there we go i'm gonna try and get 50 mats on the first wave if you can just ran straight into them though okay um could start with some luck repair here or harvesting um I don't really love building <laughs> harvesting personally. I mean, it's quite useful if you start early on, though. Uh, let's repair the luck early up here, though. Okay, we got a primitive stick, which we like. Also, don't mind crit chance and coffee. Coffee, we don't mind. I like taking crit chance. I like building for crit. You don't have to do it early, but... Could do a roll here, actually. See what we get. We got a rock. And I don't mind the uh, trees dying in one hit either, so let's do that. Okay, so we do have three different primitive weapons here pretty early, so that's uh, not too bad. Okay. Just trying to kill everything pretty quickly, and the early rounds are relatively easy on this uh, this character. Um, so I haven't, I haven't uh, played this character very much. I did do a couple of attempts back, you know. Seven or eight months ago when I originally played this game, we didn't really get that many materials here either. Let's see, what do we want to take here? These aren't super great early on. We do want to build some damage, but we do want um, we want to build our defenses pretty early here. Could take some dodge or maybe another roll here. Our HP regen, we'll take a blue one there. Um, we can take another, <laughs> another rock here, I guess. Take... Uh, what do we want to do? Take the crit chance first, I guess. Keep going here. Uh, you might want to build for crit a bit later on in the run and just build defense and melee damage and stuff early, but while it's on offer, it's relatively cheap, so we'll take it. I think these two rocks together will give us a bit, a bit of extra armor too, which is useful. But we do want six different weapons if we can to try and take advantage of the uh, extra attack speed we get from it, which is really nice. Okay, four melee damage. That's pretty pretty hard to pass up on this one. Five crit chance too. Um, <clears throat> well, we have already started building into crit, so I guess we do it. More rocks. Wow. Okay. Take the trees and the rock. Picking up a crate. Gives us extra mats. I mean, it's pretty cheap. So in the long run, that might might be uh, pretty good for us. We got more rocks. Wow, we're getting tons of rocks here, and we got a uh, a club which is primitive as well. So we can uh, take that one too. Um, we don't have much speed. In fact, we have negative speed right now, which is not ideal. So maybe we uh, pass that one. We'll try and take some speed here since we have negative at the moment, which is not great for the Elite and Horde type waves. For these early waves, it doesn't really matter, but as we get later on, we are going to want to be a little bit more of a speedy boy, so see how we go. Took a couple of hits there. Just trying to get the uh, the mats and not lose any if we can. Got a crate there, which is nice. Okay, we've got most of them. Not too bad. Uh, I guess early on, uh, taking a Scar here is not bad either. Max HP might be the go here, or regen. Melee damage is really nice. We already have some melee damage. Armor is also not a bad stat here. Uh, we might just build for max HP, though. At least for now. 
Uh, let's see, got 120, we can take that and that. We could take melee for harvesting here, or we could take uh, another bag. You know what, let's take another bag and roll here. We'll take this one because it's melee and crit chance. More trees is nice. Ah, uh, the pruner. <laughs> kind of interesting, but... Okay, so we actually have a uh, good extra armor from, uh, from our rocks here at the moment, too, which is... Not bad. A little bit of extra defense is nice. Try and boost up our uh, HP and regen here as we go. I think taking some uh, regen in Brotato on most of the characters is pretty useful. Some of the characters it doesn't synergize quite as well as some of the other things, but or well, they have like a negative that makes it hard to build into. But for this character, I think having some regen is pretty nice here. All the melee characters, anyway, in general. Although, if you have a lot of consumables dropping, you can um, heal up that way instead. Okay. Let's see, 41. HP regen. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, I think we might roll this one, see if we can get something better. Okay, damage or luck, maybe. Uh, we have negative damage right now, which I don't love, so let's do that and more HP. Thank you. Take this one. Armor and engineering, max HP. Don't care about engineering as a stat right now. More rocks, huh? <laughs> Melee and max HP. We'll take that one. And we'll uh, start combining rocks too. Why not? HP regen and a stick. Damage for range. What's our range? Minus 23. Wow, we might want to take some more range here at some point. We'll just so uh, We won't lock that one in for now. We already locked two things, so we'll just do that for... For the meantime, I'd like to see a, like a purple level speed one show up on a level up screen if we can. Okay. All right, pretty pretty cruisy here early on with this uh, this setup, but I'm gonna try and boost our HP even more. I like going in with high high HP to the uh, the later waves here. Minus armor for some range; it'll repair our crappy range and a bit of attack speed. I guess we can take this one. We already have a bit of armor here, and look, we got a uh, purple armor. I'm gonna grab that. Crit chance for 57 is not too bad. Let's take that. Combine some sticks and take some more. Let's take some more regen. Combine some sticks. Reroll. I've already gained 75 mats from doing this, so let's uh, let's buy another one. It pays for itself there. I'm not going to take negative regen, though. Um, damage against bosses and elites. Ooh, we lock on that one in. Silver bullets, great. Could take the coupon. Is it early enough to take the coupon? Maybe. Become range is also okay for a melee character as well. You know what? Let's go some pick up range here. Locked in the silver bullet. Hopefully we can get some uh, big max HP rolls on our level up tier 2. I'm pretty close to level 10 so we can uh, get a guaranteed purple one. Oh, got a little close to him there but he didn't damage me so that's nice. We don't have crazy, crazy high damage going on here at the moment, so we are going to want to scale that up here at some point too. I just like building my defensive stats relatively, relatively early on here. Um, man, we go, we're going to need them for the uh, the horde and the elite wave. So, but then again, the elite will be much easier if we can melt him. So more attack damage, melee damage specifically, and uh, percentage damage will be nice here. So. Let's see, 273, that wasn't too bad. More regen, yes please. More armor or more speed? Oh, we could take some speed to repair our speed here now. Okay, HP regen, range, luck. All pretty useful here. I think we might go crazy with the regen here though. <laughs> really, really do like that. Okay. More crit chance as well, which is nice. Well, we can actually afford these, so let's do it. Uh, a garden that creates a fruit every 15 seconds is quite useful too. Or we could re-roll. See if we can get some more HP. Oh, we've got Bucket Factory, which is really, really nice. So let's take that. 
We'll have to lock it in for next round, though. Um, we've got a few waves left. Let me re-roll. I was going to say, we have a few waves left until we hit the, um, take our stick there. Not stick, our, uh, spear. Until the horde wave is what I'm trying to say. Or to the elite wave. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, crit chance is helping out with our uh, damage output here early too, which is nice. Because we don't have crazy, crazy damage output at the moment, so. And we have three rocks, which is not ideal. It does give us a bit of armor, but we need some more weapons. We're actually got a little bit unlucky with some of the uh, primitive weapon rolls we're looking for, but... I guess we'll have to combine them here pretty soon and take something else because they're pretty low damage output sort of sort of weapons and they're pretty close range too. Makes it harder to hit everything. Yeah, survivability here is uh, pretty nice at the moment, so. Don't mind being a little more aggressive with our material collection as we go here. Couldn't kill those big guys in time. That's a shame. Let's see. I think we uh, re-roll here. Dodge. What's our dodge at the moment? Zero. Could start uh, building dodge here too, which is nice. Explosion size. Not really what we're going for. Uh, I think we might combine some rocks here. Pocket Factory is really nice. Um, it's not really the build we're sort of going for, I guess, but it is nice to have. We could also purchase these to get ourselves a purple club, and these two will uh, buff each other a bit, so. And we'll roll here. I don't care too much about um, explosions. Go HP, yes please. Uh, we'll roll one more. Damage for range here is not bad. Melee damage, also not too bad. Do we want, do we want to look three things in here, though? Let's just go past that one. We'll lock, just lock two, two things at the moment in the shop. As you can see, we're critting quite a bit here, which is nice. I uh, would like to get our HP up higher, though, to at least 80 or so, if we can. So we might try for some HP rolls, if we can get, get them. Uh, having a decent amount of regen here, though, is pretty nice. If we do get tagged up, it's not, uh, not going to just be a run-ender straight away. I mean, our survivability is really good, so I'm just being more more aggressive here now. See how we go. How many mats did we get? 500. Very good. All right, dodge at um, 6% is not bad here. Let's grab that. Um, armor's also not bad to take. I think we take more armor here. That's pretty good. Range and attack speed, damage for range, engineering. Uh, we're coming up on the Horde Wave. Let's take... Those attack speed is good, but don't want to take minus damage right now. And the uh, range isn't doing much for us. We can actually combine some sticks here, though, and rocks. So this is nice. Here, one HP when picking up a material ranged damage. We don't care about our range damage, so let's take that one. Uh, Tyler, knockback. Now we've built into crit chance a bit here already, so I don't think I'm going to take the negatives for crit chance here now. We have a lot of attack speed. We could take this one. And I think the extra melee and HP here is going to be really nice as well. Let's take this guy first and lock that one. The stick. Do we want to lock a stick? We could lock the stick and combine these two. Or we could just go on to the next wave and see what we get. Let's do that. This is a pretty interesting setup we have here. Pretty defensive at the moment. Uh, but for Danger 5, I think building defense doesn't uh, doesn't hurt. You obviously you need to kill <laughs> kill things as well. But um, as you can see, we took uh, 
10 points of damage and just like heal it back up pretty pretty quickly there so this is uh this is why we like building some defensive stats early on i think uh armor is a, a really good one to sort of build into taking less damage per hit is also nice i mean if you can get your dodge up to 60 though and you're just dodging a lot of these the hits is also a really really nice way to to go about it but sort of have to balance your stats as you're leveling up here in Brotato, which is kind of one of the things that makes building your character in this game pretty pretty fun and interesting. As you can see, we're pretty aggressive with what we're doing, and we're just not dying, which is really, really nice. Melee for crit chance. Now, um, I don't think we want to go negative on the crit chance here. I think we're going to build more into it as we go. Free reroll in the shop? Yeah, we can take that. Oh, yes. Nine on the max HP. That's beautiful. Okay. Elemental. Elemental. HP and melee damage. We'll take some steroids and roll here for free. XP and melee for luck. What's our luck? Our luck is terrible. <laughs> so we can take this one. Um... Now, harvesting is also zero. Maybe we just pass up the blood leech. It's a bit expensive. We'll go more black belt here too. Our ooh, 10 crit chance. I think we've got to take that one since we're building crit here. And we have the elite wave coming up here too. So more damage and XP game might be nice. What else can we get here? <laughs> we got another black belt. I guess we build into black belt, huh? More crit chance tier two if we take it, and that'll put us up to thirty. Uh, what thirty six, which is pretty pretty huge. HP recovered. We've actually recovered quite a bit from our other tentacle already, so let's do that. It's pretty nice, and we can't afford anything else. But okay, all right, we've got the elite here. Let's see if we can kill him somewhat quickly. Where do you go up here? Just also, try, also trying to think about survivability as we go through the elite sort of wave. I don't think we're in the position where we can just blindly stand right next to him for <laughs> 20 seconds. So here we go. Not surround. He tries. He runs away when you get close to him. This guy. So should be able to kill him here, but he's running quite a bit. Come back, buddy. All right, we'll just get aggressive on him now because he's running away from me. Okay, we got him. Nice. Alright, so I think we start to spec in for damage now, damage output, so we can uh, just start melting everything quick. I think we have some decent defensive stats here now. Um, engineering and XP gain for minus 3 HP. Man, we have a ton of HP, huh? Uh, a ton of XP, uh, uh, I should say. There. Um, It's not really the best one for our current situation. I don't know if we want to go minus, but... Extra HP here might be really nice. Oh, XP. I said that twice, sorry. Um, well, we could uh, recycle it for 44 mats, which isn't bad either. Let's uh, recycle that. Oh, we got a potato here. Let's go. A little bit of everything. We like this one. Let's take that one. Armor for a tiny bit of damage. You know what? Since we're building pretty defensive, let's take that. Now, let's see what we want to do here. There are some really good stats in this one for us, so... Being a little, a little bit more speedy would be nice. Quick chance, 7 would put us up. A, oh, man, that would put us up to like 43%, which is really good. HP is nice. Melee damage is obviously really nice too. Um, Let's boost up our melee damage there, maybe. Uh, we could take some range to repair our <laughs> terrible range here too. We've already uh, specced into the uh, <laughs> XP gain quite a bit. Um, plus three melee damage is nice. Max HP and melee together. Let's take that one. Okay, we've got damage here. Damage percentage. Let's take that. Okay, we've got another club. Do we want the club? We could combine our sticks and get a club, but I kind of like having two sticks more than two clubs, I think, because they buff each other. But more armor is really nice, too. <clears throat> Man, how many black belts do we have already? We've got three. He really wants me to take the uh, the black belts here, huh? 
Okay, we'll bite, we'll take it. Wave 12 here, see how we go now. That crit chance is gonna, gonna be really nice for us, especially as we buff our our base damage as well. So if we can get more, even more crit and damage percentage here, we'll take them at this point. Yeah, if we see a big uh, chunk of dodge as well, I mean, that'll be really nice too to have. Just make uh, ourselves even safer here as we go. And we can learn relatively quickly here too, especially with all these crits going off, which is lovely. It does allow it allows you to play so much more aggressively. I don't have to like dodge everything per se. Like obviously you don't want to take too many hits, but it allows me to play in a much more aggressive fashion here and collect all the mats. It's really really nice. Beautiful. 480, not too bad. Uh, negative HP for damage. You know, at this point, I think that might be worth. Ooh, eight dodge here. What is our dodge? 15. Yeah, let's take that. Nine on the crit chance. Man. <laughs> 45. Let's go. Now, we could take range. Could take more armor or more dodge here. Might actually be really, really good for us. Let's take more crit chance. Let's take more damage. What else? I think we'll pass on the club for now. Uh, we can take the spear though, not bad. Unfortunately, it's the wrong rarity here to just get a free level up for our rock. Let us re-roll here. Okay, at this point we could combine our sticks and take another spear instead. Might be worth doing this one. I think we'll do that. Take another spear. Okay, range, damage, not really what we're after. Max HP and damage is okay. I don't think we mind the plus five enemies. I don't think that's really going to be too much of a negative right now. Or we could just go for the uh, the steroids here too. In fact, we could do both of them. We could lock them both in, I guess. Okay, we've got one more wave before uh, an elite. So let's see how we go here. Okay. We have a lot of defensive stats now and a good amount of offense coming coming through here, so obviously our damage output could be even higher. Uh, but we're critting a lot of things now, which is really, really good. And I just don't feel like I have to to play it safe here at all, which is lovely. See how the uh, the next elite goes though. Can we kill him a bit quicker this time? We're perhaps a little a little weak for the first one in terms of damage output, but as you saw, the survivability was just like pretty easy in there. Just trying to collect up the mats here if we can. 450, not too bad. Damage for every permanent. 1% speed, you have plus four, minus five damage. I mean, this would be alright if we can take some more speed, but right now it just gives us a neg uh, negative one, actually. It's not that bad. Okay, I guess we'll take it. HP regen. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, we locked these two in, so let's take them. At this point, I don't think we uh, go into harvesting or anything. Let's re-roll these ones. Okay, we can take another stick, though, which is really nice here. Attack speed and range. Our range is kind of bad right now, so this one might be okay. What is our armor? 10. Armor's really good. I don't really like going negative armor from where we are. But the Gummy Bear's offering some pretty good stats there for our current situation, so I guess we'll take that. Could combine our spears now and take uh, something else here, but I want something higher level, to be honest. So we could take more armor to... Repair the damage we did with that other one for minus two HP. Let's take it. All right, wave 14 here. So another relate. See how we go with this one. Oh, right, here he is. Hey, buddy. Right, this guy's more aggressive on us. 
As you can see though, we uh we do some good damage to him now. Okay, we smashed him there. Beautiful. Alright, now we just uh try and survive and kill everything else. Uh collect the mats. Grab ourselves a tree. Okay, we did take a, a couple of hits there, so I guess I'll try and play a little safer as we get deeper in on into the run here. Things do get a little bit more dangerous, so... Play it a little safer, but I do also want the mats, so let's do that. Now, we have a good amount of regen, though, so even when we get tagged up, not too bad. It's not uh, too bad for us. Could have probably collected a little bit more there, but... I uh, don't think we're going to take that one. We'll uh, recycle that here now. Okay. Armor, again, is pretty good here. Speed might be the play. Be a little bit speedier. Let's be a little bit speedier here, I think. For chance as well. Ooh. These are some nice stats to have. Okay. I don't think we want to take... Too much more negative in terms of HP here, though. If anything, we want to buff it up even more. Okay, dodge and harvesting. What's our dodge currently? 29. We could take a bit more dodge. Yeah, we do take a tiny bit of negative. Uh, oh, look, we got a club. We can just uh, combine and get a big club here. A big boy club. We also, we really like this one, crit and dodge together. Really powerful stats for us to have. Let's do that. Nice. Now, ultimately, we would like a few more different weapons here to to get the extra attack speed bonus. But as you can see, we have good damage output now, and we have tons of defensive stats. So we're actually sitting pretty good where we are. Even though you know we could we could have built slightly differently for Danger Five here. But as you can see, the way we've built for defense first and then offense now, we're Kind of just uh, melting through everything, so this is great. Okay. Yeah, we're barely ever even going below, I don't know, two thirds or so. <laughs> HP, we can just be super aggressive. Try and collect as many many mats as we go here. Okay, what do you have for me? Damage percentage might be okay here. Just boost our damage even more. Okay, lifesteal. Don't care that much for lifesteal. Harvesting, not really what we want right now. Okay, we've got a stick. Melee for range damage. This is, this is really, really good for what we're currently doing. Let's grab that one. Um... So we could get rid of a rock and take another stick instead. I mean... I mean, the rocks aren't doing that bad of uh, <laughs> damage, really. And 73% uh, crit chance on these things. You know what? We can just keep the, uh, keep the rocks going. They're doing all right for us here. We have terrible luck. We could just keep <laughs> nerfing our luck. I think we need more XP at this point, but the melee damage is not bad. It's 140, though. What else can we get here? Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe the sticks would have been the play there. I don't know. More crit chance. Let's take that one. Uh, we might roll one more time. Another spear. Um, Would combine these two at this point, I guess. Take more spears. They're doing 133 H. What's this? 94. Um, you know, maybe we do it. Although we could take a different one, I guess, but I like having the extra HP from the uh the primitive stuff here. The six primitive weapons together. So and we'll roll one more time here. Attack speed. Wow, well, that's not bad. HP rage in. Let's take that one. Actually, we can just lock the attack speed too. I think it's really good. Considering we've taken some minus attack speed as we've gone here, for example, with uh, <laughs> defective stories. We locked three there, just because they're good stats and they're relatively cheap. So, not too bad. 
Now, as you can see, we have terrible luck, but you don't necessarily need amazing luck to get Danger 5 done on some of these characters. Obviously, having higher luck can help out with your 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 rolls and, you know, the uh, consumables dropping and all that sort of thing. But as you can see, you can totally do Danger 5 without having high luck anyway. So, And because this character starts with a big chunk of negative luck, you know, you can repair it. But you can also use those stat uh, stat allocations for something else instead, which we've we've done for defense and uh, now crit chance, which is proving to be super strong for us here. So, I think by the time we get to the final boss, you might be able to melt them really, really quickly here. So, let's see how we go. As you can see, we get tagged up a little bit, but it just doesn't matter. Our guy just doesn't care here. Our gladiator just does not care. Beautiful, almost 500 mats here too. Nice. Okay, attack speed and range for a bit of negative armor here. You know what? Our range is crappy right now. Let's take it. And we can just repair it right here anyway. Let's do that. Damage against bosses and elites. Right before an elite wave too. Yes. And we locked all this stuff. So <laughs> let's get another free reroll here. Okay, dodge we want. HP regen we really like. Ah, uh, turret. I don't think we need another turret right now. Fist. Speed, luck. Um, harvesting, we're gonna keep harvesting. Uh, let's go on through to the next wave here. All right, we should have another elite boy. Where is he? Okay, down here. See so how quickly we can kill this guy. Okay, he mutated. Come back, buddy. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I was pretty aggressive there, and we just regen back to full, so, you know. Alright, just continue on our merry way. Collect as many mats as we can here. Okay. Alright. This is pretty much easy mode now. We're dodging a lot of stuff, and we're critting almost everything. Or at least half of our hits are pretty much crits now, which is great. Alright, so... Okay, we've got Grind's Magical Leaf. HP at the end of a wave, HP regen, and lifesteal. Wow. <clears throat> we only have a couple of waves left, so it's not actually going to be that valuable, but a little bit extra... Sure, we'll take it. And even more regen? I mean, we could. Is there anything else we desperately want? I mean, we have really high crit chance. It's 61 our crit chance already, dang. Um, let's just take the more regen here. I mean, we'll take more dodge from here. Take more steroids. Won't take that metal. We don't want a negative our crit chance. Attack speed and range is really nice here too. Repairs our range completely. Uh, we could uh, lock in the, uh, the secret. We could take, in fact, we could take a hatchet instead here. So we have an extra additional bit of uh, attack speed. So it's going to be actually be really nice for us there. We'll go with the hatchet instead. Okay. Just a few waves left here, and we're sitting. No, uh, we're sitting pretty good. So to be able to smash this one in the end. See how quickly we can uh, kill the final two bosses here. I didn't have to dodge or anything. I just run straight into them now. It doesn't matter. Kill these things. Just sort of doing loop-de-loops, collecting the uh, <laughs> materials. I mean, if we can get even more dodge, if we can get up to the dodge cap, I mean, it's... Such a nice place to be. 60% dodge in this game is really, really strong. Okay. This is really good. Alright. 364. Wow, we got a bunch of... Uh... <laughs> ah, oh boy. Um... Max HP or armor, I mean, these are both pretty nice stats to have for our current situation. I feel like we just take more armor for damage resistance there. I mean, there's no point in <laughs> doing anything else, I think. Bit more melee damage. 
could take a torch, but I don't really care for the torch very much. Let's reroll here. Okay, we've got a powerful stick. Let's combine those. Even more HP regen. Roll again. Max HP and melee damage together is really nice. Crit chance. We could have taken that, but we can take it next go. One more roll here. Nothing really useful. All right, wave 19. All right, more than 100 HP is a great place to be here, especially with all our defensive stats, so... Like I said before, I don't even really have to dodge now. I'm just sort of running around getting as many mats as I can, and our regen is just totally topping off off if we get hit. And there's uh, consumables as well if we really, really need them at a certain point. They're just sort of lying there waiting for us, so we pick them up. Okay. Alright, we've got the last shop coming up here. 600 mats. Max HP by 9. Yeah, why not, huh? Attack speed, melee damage. Let's take the melee damage here, maybe. Even more melee damage. Armor and max HP. What's our speed anyway? 13. I don't think we need the extra speed, do we? Let's just take the tank stats. Crit chance. Uh, HP end. Even more HP. We can't afford anything else. Let's just take that one. All right, let's go into the uh, the final wave here. Let's see how we go. Hey, buddy. Let's see how quickly we can kill these guys. Let's try and take out one first. Uh, just make it a bit simpler taking out the other one. This guy likes to run away once he uh, does his little mutation sort of thing there. Come here, buddy. Come back. Come back, please. Stop running. <laughs> there we go. We got him. In the meantime, this guy was just casually taking uh, damage from us as well, so that's nice. And as you can see, just how free this is. I just I don't even have to dodge or anything. Beautiful. Easy. There we go. That's our first ever win on the Gladiator. So, and look, we got a uh, achievement for it and everything because we're playing on the uh, Xbox version of the game here. Beautiful. Didn't even need everything maxed out. Didn't actually need six different weapons. Having five is fine here. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in to another Brotato video. If you want to see more Brotato, if you're interested in guides or anything for this game, just let me know with a comment down below. And with that, I hope you have a fantastic, amazing day. Thank you very much. Take it easy.